we're going to go over how you can get a PostgreSQL database running on your computer with Docker. So for this, you don't need to have PostgreSQL installed at all. All you need is to have Docker. And here I have a few commands which I think are going to be helpful that we're going to be going over. So let's start with this first command. I'm just going to paste it into my command line over here and I'm going to walk through what each of these steps are because I am passing in a few configuration things here that we can uh, tweak for depending on what your application needs or what you want your uh, Postgres database to look like. So here I'm saying Docker run and then I'm just assigning the port. So PostgreSQL runs on port 5432 inside the container. And then I'm also choosing that same port outside to run on localhost. It's just the usual that you see Postgres running on and a lot of tools use that. So I tend to use that as well. Um, and then I'm doing dash D so it runs in the background. And then I'm passing in three environment variables here. So these are special ones that the container knows about. So we're using this image called Postgres here. And this Postgres image knows about these environment variables. And here we can set the uh, uh, basically an initial user. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a user with the name Postgres and the password Postgres. And then it's also going to set up a database inside of there called Stripe Example. And then this last part here is going to persist it. So I did dash V, which will create a volume. And then here's the path inside the container to the data. Um, and then this, I named it PG data. So what this is going to do is if I run that, it's going to, in the background, start up a Docker container uh, using the Postgres image. And it's going to create a user, like I said, and password with Postgres. Postgres, and then the database is going to be called Stripe example. So if you're running this, you can change those up depending on what you want your database and your user to be. All right, and I have this ID. This is basically the ID of the container. I can also run Docker container LS and I can see my Postgres image is started. Um, and so usually the next thing to do is how do I connect to it? How do I run some commands? So if you have Postgres SQL installed on your computer or if you have a tool that you wanna use, you can connect doing this. So I'm saying psql. And then I'm saying Stripe example, which is my database name. And then I've assigned the host, which is localhost. And then my user is Postgres. And then it's going to ask me for a password. And I said Postgres is my password as well. And then I'm connecting and I have access now and I can run SQL commands. So I can actually connect to this the same way using other tools like PG admin or like data grip. If you have other things, other tools on your computer that you want to be able to access and uh, do stuff with Postgres databases. Um, all right, so let's quit out of this. The other thing is if you don't have any PostgreSQL tools installed on your computer, that's totally okay. Instead, what you can do is you can actually connect to the container. So here I'm running docker exec to connect to the container. Um, and here's the ID of my container. So if I run docker container ls, I can see there's the container ID over here. So I'm going to copy that. Um, and now I can just paste that in there. So I'll paste that and I'm going to use that. So here I'm going to say docker exec. Here's the ID of my container. So that's the con container I want to connect to. And I'm saying that I want an interactive console. So that's why I did the IT there. Um, and then here's the command that I want to run. Here all I have to say is psql. And then the user is Postgres, which we said in the database is Stripe example. So I'm able to connect with that. And now I have that same console that I had before. And now I can run any kind of SQL commands with that. So that's how you can start up a Postgres database on your computer and then how you can connect to it. Now the next step is what happens if I want to start up multiple Docker containers. For example, I have, let's say, this Docker container with Postgres database. And then I have like an express application, like the Stripe example that I use, and I want to connect that to Postgres. How can I do that? Well, for that, we're going to be starting up multiple containers, and I really recommend using Docker Compose for that. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to go over how that works and how we can get these containers to talk to each other.